2021 is finally here. Hello everyone, welcome to a very blustery and rain-swept Brands Hatch for the start of the 2021 Intelligent Money British GT Championship. Uh, we're braving the elements today to bring a very special pre-season pit walk uh, before the action starts tomorrow. We've lined up all 26 cars here at Brands Hatch in the pit lane so we can give you a guided tour as we missed Media Day uh, back in March. So, without further ado, let's have a look at who's here to, uh, this weekend and for the full season. Ram Racing, down the bottom of the pit lane, they're first up and you're looking at reigning Pro-Am champions, Ian Loggy and Yelman Berman defending that Pro-Am championship uh, here alongside uh, their teammates for this weekend and we hope uh, for more races this year as well, uh, Sam Dehan and James Cottingham. Uh, Sam and James running in the new Silver Am class this year. That replaces the Silver Silver. Next along, last year's Brands Hatch winning Mustang, uh, the Academy Motorsport Ford, uh, driven again by Matt Cowley and uh, team stalwart Will Moore. As I said, that car went very well here last year. Uh, look out for that one again on Sunday. Next up, a new team to the championship, Enduro Motorsport. Uh, Morgan Tilbrook, uh, relatively inexperienced in GT terms, and uh, he's paired up with Marcus Clutton, a former British GT4 champion. Absolutely fantastic livery on that new McLaren. That's actually, incidentally, the Balfe car that raced with us and won in 2019. Next up, WPI Motorsport, uh, a change of personnel on the pro front in this car uh, for 2021. Of course, it's Phil Keane, the winningest driver in British GT Championship history. He teams up with Michael Igo. Expect that one to go very well if we have conditions like this throughout the weekend. Toyota, next up, the Supra GR GT4. And uh, this is Speedworks, but it has been renamed as Toyota Gazoo Racing UK, uh, so it gives you an idea of the involvement Toyota are taking in British GT and with their GT4 program in general. Porsche, we love them, you love them. We've got two on the grid uh, here at Brands Hatch, and the first of them is the returning GCAT 911. Uh, that one is the only Am Am car in the class, so don't expect it to be near the front, but uh, it does make a fantastic noise. And then on to Stella's Audi, a two-time winner in 2019. We didn't see the car at all in 2020. Stella were running uh, the GT3 version of the R8. They dropped back down to GT4, but with the same driver pairing, Richard Williams and Senna Fielding, as I said, they won twice in 2019. Bound to be a contender this season as well. Another new entry in the form of Simon Green Motorsport. These guys are with us at uh, Silverstone, you might remember, at the end of last season in GTC. They step up to GT3 with the Lamborghini. Uh, Lucky Carer, Ferrari Challenge UK champion, is paired with 2014 GT4 champion, Ross Wiley. Another returning team to British GT, Fox Motorsport. Haven't seen these guys for a couple of years, and they've switched uh, to the uh, McLaren 570S. You might remember they previously run Ginettas and Mercedes. Uh, Nick Halstead, a newcomer to the championship, but he's paired up with Jamie Stanley, one of two drivers this season who could become the first to win two GT4 championships. Ultimate speed, Aston Martin. These guys are with us on a race-by-race -race basis uh, this year, but four rounds for them. Uh, it's Mike Brown and Matt Manderson in uh, the rather pretty silver Vantage. Sicily Motorsport make uh, also a return to British GT. It's their first full season with us. We saw this Mercedes a couple of years ago, uh, but uh, this, a bit like uh, the Fox entry features, a former GT4 champion, Jake Giddings, he's teaming up with Dave Whitmore, uh, who was with Century last season. I don't need to really introduce this one, do I? Beach Dean AMR, the dream team, Andrew Howard, Johnny Adam, two-time champions back in 2013-2015. Uh, they're back together for their first full season campaign since winning the title together in 2015. Now, this might be a bit of an exclusive. JRM Racing, Bentley, Kelvin Fletcher, Martin Plowman. First time we've seen this car in this particular livery. They were due to race with us last season, you remember. Obviously, COVID-19 uh, meant they couldn't do it, but um, back with a bang this year and uh, no missing the Bentley this season. Now, new look for Century Motorsport. Two BMW M4 GT4s and uh, Andrew Gordon Colbrook, who won at Silverstone last year, is paired with uh, Chris Salkeld. Sponsorship from Ainsley Harriet, of course. And uh, they're joined in the uh, second M4 by uh, Gus Burton and Will Burns, who finished 1-2 in last season's Ginetta GT4 Super Cup Championship. That is a gun pairing, if ever there was one. Another rather pretty Porsche next along, and it's the team Parker 911. Nick Jones, Scott Melbourne, they stick 
with Parker, but to switch over from the Bentley to the 911. A lot of testing uh, for these guys uh, at the start of this year. Really interested to see how that car goes this weekend. Next along, a return for Ginetta to British GT, uh, the winningest manufacturer in uh, GT4 history on 75 wins and a new car for them, a Seto Motorsport, are running the new G56, uh, Mark Sansom and uh, factory driver Charlie Robinson in, Robertson in that one. On we go, and another familiar British GT entry uh, for uh, fans, long, long time fans of British GT is of course Team ABBA Racing. Uh, Dad and lad entry of Sam and uh, Richard Neary. If the weather stays like this, expect both of those guys to go very well indeed. Uh, RJN, uh, Team Rocket RJN, I should say. Uh, obviously, front runners last year in GT3. They switched programs this year to run three GT4 spec McLarens. Uh, the first two, four and three, as you're looking at them. They're for the DDP program, uh, McLaren's Young Driver program. And uh, the white one, which is obviously in the familiar colours uh, you've seen on the 720S last year, uh, that actually features last year's GT4 runner-up, Jordan Collard. Of course, his dad was uh, silver, uh, say silver Cup champion. He was overall champion as well, alongside Sandy Mitchell last season. No Rob with us this time. New look for Balfe, and uh, a rather nice new look as well for them uh, in the second father and son pairing of Stuart and Lewis Proctor. And Balfe, of course, always represented in GT4, with uh, this year with a new pairing of Jack Brown and Ashley Marshall. They'll be going in the Silver Cup. And finally, in a way, we've saved the fastest till lastest. Barrel Mud Sports, team's champions last season, driver's champions as well. Uh, you're looking at the car of Leo Machitsky and Dennis Lind uh, in the colours that it ran in GT World Challenge Europe last season. And as I said, for lastest is fastest. Number one on the hurricane of reigning champion Sandy Mitchell. He teams up with Adam Ballon, who was his title rival last season. Uh, Blackwall colours have changed over to Tech Trek uh, as per Adam's business. Right. That is the grid, and that is your lot for the pit walk. We're live on uh, Sunday from one o'clock. The race starts at 1.20. Watch it live on SRO's YouTube, Twitch channels, British GT's Facebook page, and of course, BritishGT.com. Hope to see you there.